This is quite unacceptable, though. This is a third attack on the estate developers. This brigadier must stop at once. Yes, I will. The meeting with the stakeholders of Amici has been rescheduled to next week. Some of the stakeholders are not in town, so it would be unwise to have such a meeting without them. Of course. I believe everyone around here knows where the bando is. It's just that some mischief makers are stirring up troubles. Your Majesty, this matter will be resolved without bloodshed. We need to live in peace with our neighbors. Hmm? Our boys, Okaka, and his boys, the vigilante, they are patrolling that area. Nobody will attack those estate developers again. I'm amazing. Good morning, Father. Oh, sir. Good morning, Ono. Ah, Prince Uchenna. I thought you've left for the office. I need your signature authorizing the acquisition of the new equipment. Oh, uh, I forget. Oh, oh, oh. Did you discuss uh, with the new manager about the CEO. Yes, sir. Tell Mr. Patrick to come as soon as you get to the office. Okay, I will do so. Uh, yes, um, oh, oh, yeah. is there another place? No, no, no other place. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah. All right. Take care, I will talk to you when I come back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Drive carefully. Yes, Prince Uchenda. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm all right. I'm doing good. Um, this is on your, with your files. Seems you're heading to work. Yes. I'm already late for oh, work. I see. I see. Is my uncle still asleep? <laughs> no. It's with the Ono in the living room. Ono? Yes. This early? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand anymore. It seems people don't sleep again in this village. <laughs> Anyways, uh, no problems. Um, let me not delay you further. Huh? Um, you're going with your car? Yes, of course. I'm oh, I see. All right, no problems. Huh? Have a <laughs> great day ahead. <laughs> All right, take care. Yeah, what down you? Your Majesty. Oh, yes. I thought uh, Prince Uchenna runs the company. He does, but I still oversee some things. In the office? Uh, maybe they should get you your favorite. Ah, no, no, Your Majesty. It's too early in the morning for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's one of those things. Ozo Chikwado. Ozo Chikwado. Oh no, who's gonna have one? Who's an Hey. Um. Yeah, we just uh, finished breaking the collar knot. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> it shall be well with all of us. It's a. Uh...
Ah, Chama. Good morning. Where are you off to this morning? I want to go and buy stuff. Oh, I see. I'm going to work. Hmm. You can walk. You walk a holy. Don't you ever get tired. <laughs> you <laughs> what do you want me to do now? <laughs> if I don't run my father's company, who will run it? That's true. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Take care of yourself too. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> blame the people of Amish village. It's because all these estate developers have developed the whole places and have added commercial value to it. That's why they don't know where the boundaries are anymore. But if they want trouble, we will double the trouble for them. I don't know what I'm saying. Violence is not the solution. It requires diplomacy. Ono and the members of the committee are already taking care of that. So, let's be calm. Anyway, I pray it's settled diplomatically, like you said. Oh, so what, what is it? Really, what has happened? What? Christina is dead. What? We had an accident, he's dead. Igwe! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Igwe, Igwe! Igwe! Igwe, Igwe! Igwe, Igwe! Could you believe that someone close to you can kill you tomorrow? No one to go! Why are you sitting here crying? I don't. You want to tell me it's not here, my brother who chill now. He's dead, he's not here. It's... Oh, that. I was actually in the palace when the news came. This morning. I saw him this morning when I went to Mama Chikwado's place to collect the pub that I gave him money for. I just did not know that it would be the last time I will see him. Oh. That is one of the realities of life. It's like a dream. Someone should please just tell me that it's a lie. Brother Ochina, he was going to walk. I saw him. Nobody will tell you it's a dream because it's not a dream. This is reality. Alright? Please stop crying before you start attracting people to this compound. <laughs> Let's go inside, please. Let's go inside before people will start gathering here. From <laughs> Alright, see you. 
you tomorrow then. All right. See you by six o'clock. Six o'clock. Yeah. Um, can you come a little bit earlier than that? I I would love to go to the bank before the banks open so we can collect my ATM card before we go to work. Hmm. Yeah. Then you have to bribe me on. Really? Yes, you have to. Alright, so how much? What are you offering? Come here. <laughs> Is that enough? I'll see you by six o'clock, okay? <laughs> see you tomorrow. Right, I see. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you more. Great. How are you? I'm fine. Ah, okay. ah, ah, mommy, I I forgot to buy your cream. You forgot? Not really. I didn't forget. I I just realized my ATM card has expired. Oh. I, I I asked for for another one, and the bank said I should come tomorrow very early in the morning. Sonny. Hi, Dad. Who is the young man that dropped you off? Oh, that was Emeka. Wait, Emeka dropped you and he didn't come in to say hello. You know him? Yes, I've met him several times. They work together. Really? Yes, Daddy. Is anything the matter? No. Just that it's always good for a caring father to know the company his precious daughter keeps. You know, this is a respected family. Yeah, that in mind. Daddy and his protocols. Um, Mom, I promise to buy it tomorrow. It's all right. I'm really sorry. Don't forget. All right, I will. Oh, you're watching Zero. You have not had anything for days now. How can I eat? How can I eat when my son lies dead? That's the mortuary. Mother, Uchena was my brother too. him so much but what you're doing to yourself is not good it's not bringing him back neither would even help that that, is, that has been bedridden since that day mother please i need you to be alive for me father needs you to be alive for him so please mom please I mean, look at him Look at my baby's gone. Mother, please, I beg you to stop this, please. <sighs> How you came to see your mother? I've been trying to see her since after my cousin's death, but to no avail. My mother is not yet ready to receive visitors. But I am not a visitor. I am a family member. True. But my mother is not ready to talk to anyone now. Oh, I see. Even I, Nze Chikwado, your blood. Nze Chikwado, she doesn't understand that this is painful for everyone, especially to my mother. So please, let us just respect her wishes. You know, I really wish you were a man. You would have made a great king. I'll take my leave. Oh, 
Gigi. Eu não te não, e não esqueci não. Mas isso não vê. Isso não vê. Gigi. Gigi, eu ainda não consigo me tirar minha mente disso. Eu apenas... I just wish I would just open my eyes and see him drive into the compound. I... <sighs> Your mom, how is she? I was here yesterday, but I could not see any of you. My mother is still not in the mood to speak to anyone. My mother is still in shock. You know, this, this, this whole thing is... It's like nightmare. No. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm truly sorry. Chi. If you don't mind, please. Can, can I go back inside? Yes, please. Go and rest. Oh. Thank you. No. Sorry. Mm. Oh, please, take it easy, boy. Oh. I'm fine, thank you. Thank you. Where is the doctor? Oh, he left. He gave your father a mild uh, sedative. Oh. Yes. Oh. Uh, you do not need to worry. The doctor assured me that uh, he will wake up and um, he's a very strong man. Hmm? Yes, he is. Well, um, since you are here, let me take my leave, huh? Thank you very much. It's okay. I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you. If there's any change to him, let me know. <laughs> this is the highest calamity that can happen to any man. Losing the only son. Why? No. The only heir to our throne. Look at Arumene. Arumene. The king has been sick. It's only the Onowu and his family members that have been allowed to see him. Really? Even in the Chikwadu. As not be allowed to even see the queen. Really? I'm telling you. I think Nze Chikwado should start warming up to her the phone. Huh? How can you say that? If we will we recover them. Why? Uh, then what? Marry a new wife and start bearing sons? Is that what you are saying? Yeah. Now you see my point. You have a point. Hey! I want to go out Hello, good afternoon. Um, where are you coming from? I'm into the palace. The palace? Um, did you see the king? I'm not seeing him. I only saw Chidima. And? What did she say? Nothing now. Everybody's mourning Prince Uche. When you go to the palace next time, hmm, try and see the king. Aside from that, try and uh, probe Chidema. Find out information about what is going on in the palace and report back to me. 
I don't. I should probe Chidima. Get information. How? I don't understand. What is there for you not to understand? Just simple instruction. Go to the palace. Find out anything that is going on there. And report back to me. Is that what is difficult for you to understand? Working. That? Happened. Guess what? What? Come on, guess, mommy. You know I am not good in guessing. Daddy? Tell me. You also want me to guess. I'm not You wanna good try? Either. I don't think so. Just tell us. Alright. Since you both are not good at guessing, mm -hmm. I guess I just have to say it. Say mm -hmm. it. Mommy gets! <laughs> Congratulations, Thank my you, dear. Wow! <laughs> Oh, the ring looks good on you. It's beautiful, right? Yes. <laughs> Thank oh, you, mommy. My God, I love this. Daddy. <laughs> You're not excited. <laughs> Why would you say that? You want me to shout and jump before you know that I'm happy. Oh, come on. He's, he's happy for me. <laughs> Please tell him I would like to say him. I agree with that. Hmm? Don't tell him. Come, 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 come. I'm so happy for you, baby. Mm. Thank you, mother. I'm so mm. happy. Mm. Ah. Ah. You see? <laughs> you see? Very soon, you'll be married. Yes! Mm. I'm so happy for you, my dear. <laughs> I think your earring fit. Oh, oh uh, th that's mine. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> sit down, sit down, this And I'm happy that you and my daughter are getting on well. Yeah. Yes, sir. You have proposed and she accepted. That is good. But there are questions about yourself which my daughter here cannot answer for you. That's why I invited you. She said you are from River State. Yes, sir. That's true. Where exactly? I'm from Ikwe. Where? What about your mom? I, I did not meet my father. He died before I was born. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. It's all right, ma'am. I understand that your mother was never married. I am a very resourceful man, a meticulous one at that. So I take it as a responsibility to dig into the backgrounds of any man that wants to associate with my family. The truth is, you don't know whom you are. 
because you've never bothered to ask. It will be an absurdity for somebody like me to give my daughter's hand in marriage to you. Father. Emeka, I honestly don't have anything against you because you are a hard working young man. But in this your venture, I can never give my blessing. That is it, and it is final. Daddy, why would you do that? You heard me. Are you deaf? Emmy! But that was too harsh. But that was the truth. You should have told me. Would it have mounted to anything? Emeka loves your daughter very well. They love each other. I know. But we have to first... the hard reality here. You see? Love is not everything. I am a high chief in Igbo land, a holder of the revered Zenozo title. I cannot give my daughter to a man without heritage, no background. No, it's not happening. Please, speak no more about this. Are you all right? Did you have issues at work? Son, what happened? Mom, who is my father? Mom, you have to tell me who my father is and please tell me the truth. I didn't want you to feel unwanted. I'm sorry I lied to you. Mom. I am so sorry for all the pain that you went through. I will do everything possible to always make you happy. Have you spoken to the king? I have not. Mm. Since Abarawai and her daughter have blocked every access to him, I have not really had access to the king. Up till now? Up till now. I even heard that um, the palace guards and the, the servants, that none of them have access to him, apart from Onu and uh, his personal doctor. And have you spoken to the Onu? Yes, I've spoken to Onu. Well, he said uh, the king is recovering fine and that he has not started receiving visitors for now. The gods are good. You're finally awake. We were worried. As the gods have decided, it's not yet my time. <laughs> I know. I should go and tell the doctor that you are awake. Tell the no to that I seek his attention. 
I'll surely tell him. You scared us. It was beyond my control, I know. I am happy that you are awake, Your Highness. I am sorry about the death of Prince Uchenna. He was a very good boy. The people of Amichi sent their condolences. And as a matter of fact, they have officially withdrawn their claim over the disputed lands as a sign of good faith. Mm. Um, I will um, inform the Council of Chiefs that you are awake so that you can see them. Not yet. Why, Your Highness? There are so many ugly rumors flying around in the kingdom. At least seeing the Council of Chiefs will uh, put the mind of our people at ease. You need to see them. Oh no. When trees fall upon trees, first, the topmost must be removed. You've been a friend for a long time. And I value your wise counsels. I will see the chiefs. But there is something I need to correct first. I can only trust you with this task. Anything, Your Majesty. I want you to go to somewhere for me. Uh, you could use the company's private jet. There is a woman I met during my service in Brakot. Then Ebenema, that's where she heals from. And the family of Ebi, Ilape. Yeah. What is chasing after you like this? I am just coming from Onowo's place. He just left the village, saying he will return in a few days' time. Eh? Wait. Onowo left the village, saying that he will return in a few days' time, at this critical point in time. This is exactly what I asked him. There is something that is not adding up here. Why would Ono leave the king's side at this critical point in time? Something is definitely not happening. Yes! I don't know. Just go in and do what I told you to do. Yes, what is going on over there? No, nothing, sir. I've just been informed that we know we left town this morning. I, I didn't hear anything about this. Then find out what is going on and report back to me immediately. Okay, sir. No problem, sir. Everything under the sun. 
so don't lose hope when there is life hope is sure my guy and men are man and no more you go it's a good chance a good chance the way sometimes they are different from our way I'm Ono Wugonabo, the traditional Prime Minister of Azibo Kingdom. Please, I'm looking for the residence of uh, Rekimbo Elaweremi. You mean Bekimbo Elaweremi? Um, please, uh, do you know him? He died many years ago. Oh, okay, um, do you know how I can get in touch with his family, his family residence, please? And why do you want to see them? Um, it's a private matter. Thank you. Please, where is his residence? The next compound. That, that, that building? building? That building that has blocks packed up there? Yes, yes, after this building. The next one. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, driver, reverse, please.
greetings. Well done. Uh, good afternoon. Um, I am Onowu Gonabo, the traditional prime minister of Azibo Kingdom. Um, is this the family of uh, Baking Boy Lawaremi? Yes. Oh, thank God. I'm looking for a Biere. Who? A Biere, I'm told that uh, she is the daughter of uh, Mr. Lawaremi Baking Boy. Um, Oga, please sit down. Let me go and call my husband. He's the one you will talk to. Okay, thank you. Here. Traditional Prime Minister of Azibo Kingdom. Azibo Kingdom? Yes. I am Tamuno Elawaremi, son of Bekimbo. So, what can I do for you? Well, um, I would like to um, see your sister, Ebiere. Ebiere? Yes. What? I was uh, sent here by my king, His Majesty, Igwe Emeka Izumezu, the king of the uh, Zibo Kingdom. Emeka Izumezu? Yeah, uh, he served in this community as a youth copper many years ago. Yeah. Yes, um, my king, His Royal Majesty, gave me this. This is Ebiere, right? So, Emeka is the king now? Yes. Uh, I, I would like to please uh, speak with Ebiere. Oh, well, uh, my sister left this community a very long time ago. I've never seen her, made contact with her, no heard from her. Eh? A very long time ago. But, why would the king want to see her? Um, my king wants to right the wrongs of his past. He's currently on his sickbed, sadly, and would want to see her. Oh, well, I can't help you now, eh? There's nothing I can do to help you. Uh, like I told you, I've not seen her. I heard from her for a very long time now, so I can't help you. Uh, sir, please, this is very important. It, it took me two days to locate this place. I've been searching for two days before I could find two this place. Two days? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will, um, I will see how I will contact her or contact somebody who knows where she is. Mm -hmm. I'll see what I can do. Uh, come back in two days' time. Okay, Maybe I'll sir. have something for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, sir. It's okay. Okay. Um, can I have the... Yeah, my king gave it to me. It's, it's his property, sir. Thank you. I'll be back in two days' time. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay.
Looking for you. Eh? A high chief from Ibo land. <laughs> Guess who sent it? Your Majesty, good evening. Uh, good evening, no. no. Uh, did you find her? Please, make sure that you find her. I will, my king. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Eh? All right. Uh, uh, good night. Uh, good night, Your Majesty. Chi, what do you expect? I had to put everything behind because of my parents, at least. How are they? My father is getting better. That's good to know. I haven't been able to see your father ever since. Can I see him? Um, she, my father is resting. But, but not to worry, you, you can see my mother before you leave. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, when is Ono coming back? Coming back from where? From his official trip, of course. I never knew he traveled. Oh, hold on. Is that the reason I've not seen him in this house for two days? I, um, Chi, hmm? tell me, how did you know he traveled? Um, my brother said. Can I see your mother now? Yes, you can. Did they tell you not to greet when you get back to the house? We have to, sir. So, what did you find out? You said the king is getting better. Uh, did you see him? No, I did not. Then how did you know? I saw the queen now. She's the one that told me that the king is getting better. Don't you want the king to be better? Uh, um, what did she tell you about Ono's mysterious journey? They were even surprised when I mentioned it. Sir. They are on our way of his travel. Okay, you can go inside now. But brother... You can go inside. Sorry. Wait, what is Ono up to? This one that nobody in the palace knows anything about his whereabouts. Uh, Chief, it's a pity you had to come all the way from uh, all this way for nothing. In fact, for nothing. 
Because up to now, I have not been able to make contact with my sister or anyone that even knows her or knows her contact. So. Um, so, hmm? um, I don't understand. You know, you've repeated that you've not been able to reach your sister all these years. You've not spoken to her, you've not seen her. Uh, I want to know why, if I may ask. What's your business about that? It's none of your business, it's a family matter. Please! Ah, look, look at this. Oh! Uh, I'm sorry, sir. In fact, you may go, please. Chief, you may go, please. Come on, go. I'm done with you. Sir, I am sorry if I have offended you. But I can't go back to my king without a beer. I can't go back empty handed. Mm. Mm -hmm. Then you have to spend a very long time in Portacot. Spend time. Once again, I apologize if I've offended you. This is my card. In case you find your sister or someone who can get me access to her, you can call me. I'll be staying in a hotel in Port Harcourt. This is my card, so I'm expecting your call. Thank you, sir. And uh, have a nice day. Directions the other day. Yes, you are looking for a bureau. Yes, right? yes. I know where she is. Oh, thank you. So, where can I find her? Chief, <laughs> information costs money, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't worry. Go back to Potakot and wait for Tamuno. That will never tell you where his sister is. Uh, um, um, excuse me. Come, please. Sorry. How much? Bring something reasonable. <sighs> mm, this is better now. Mm, she lives in Delta State, Asaba. Asaba? Yes. Where in Asaba? Ah, ah. Chief. Ah, this money you gave me is for the information you ah, I gave you. If you want more information, you pay more. <laughs> uh, listen. I don't want any hanky panky. Go straight to the point. Where can I find her, dear? I need her address, please. You can even give me all this money. I will tell you where she is, even the car she drives. Everything in this world They happen for a reason There is time for everything Under the sun So don't lose love 
when there is life mm-hmm. Oh, be sure My guy has been a man and a woman In Marago It's a good chance, a good chance Ah, good afternoon I, I want to see um, a beer a lower me. No good, that's a name for you. Okay, uh, um, I want to see the madam, madam here. Madam Eber? Yes, uh, madam Eber. I want to see her. Who you be? Who you be? <sighs> Please, give her this. She will understand. What is it? Madam, you get one big man with us, I didn't want to see you. <laughs> How did he find me? Ma? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Madam, make you come inside. I think it's better I stand here than outside. Oh, uh, afternoon, uh, evening. Um, sir, are you looking for someone? Uh, yes, yes. I am uh, looking for a Biere and Lawaremi. You don't seem to be from her village and. I haven't heard anyone call my mom that name in a long time. You're her son? Yes, I am, and you are? I am Ono um, Ugona. Please. Your father's friend. My father? I am so sorry for all that you've been through. <laughs> My king will be so happy to learn that he has a son. As a matter of fact, this news will add many years to the king's life. Your king has no knowledge that I exist? N no. If his son had not died, would he have asked for my mother? I cannot speak for your father. That is a question you have to ask him yourself. As a matter of fact, let me call him. No, 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 no. I don't wish to speak to him yet. Well, sir, you have to give us some time to think about it and decide on what to do. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello? Your Highness, you will not believe the amazing news I have for you! Your Highness.
kindness. I am so happy that you're getting better by the day. I am glad too. The gods of our ancestors have decided it's not yet my time. I sent you here because I have something very important to tell you. Okay, go ahead. My love, before I got married to you, I was engaged to a girl I met in Paracord during my youth service. But my father did not approve of that. And I was forced to abandon her so I would be king. I know about all that. Well, the only thing you do not know about her is that she has a son for me. Uh, don't get it twisted. I got to know of this a few hours ago. She lives in Asaba with her son, my son. Do you think? Mom, he asked to see you. So the decision is entirely yours. Hey. Mom? Dad, you will not believe this. What is it? A maker's father sent for him. A maker's father? Yes. Finally, he found his father. Yes, his father. finally, mother. Oh, that is great news. <laughs> that is great news. Very good Honestly, news. Honestly, I love this news. You see? Who knows the idiot that abandoned him? No, no, daddy, no. Uh, a maker's father is a king. The king of Azibu. Are you sure of what you just Very said? Very sure. You heard me a right. A king of Azibu kingdom? Yes, mother. Yeah. As I am talking to you right now, do you know who of Azibu is Nasaba? to take Emeka and his mother to see the king in the palace. <laughs> Emeka is a prince, mama. King of Aziz. <laughs> I know Aziz. Really? And I know the king. Hey. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Who is coming? Snow who is coming. As if I knew. Nicole, hmm? do you know who you are waiting for? Hey, John, I don't know. Hope you are right. Do you have any information why we are here? I don't know what's going on. By the way, Nambi, you asked all of us to wait here. What's going on? Who are we waiting for? I was told we are expecting very important people. Very important people. That's why we are all standing here. That's what I was told. Please, just leave me alone. I am not holding you, Namdi. We should wait now. <laughs>
Your Majesty. Baby. That's me, Mr. Kenneka. Baby. I'm sorry for everything. Please forgive me. forgive you. This is your son. Good afternoon, sir. nonsense are you talking about? No, that can't happen. This kingdom will not allow it. What sort of no... Well, what is it? Oh, Guinea. What is it now? Your uncle and Ono have conspired to bring in a bastard into this kingdom claiming that it's his son. How? He said he, he, he had a, a, a child outside wedlock. And Ono has gone to bring the, the, the mother and the bastard into this kingdom. Brother, I, I don't really understand, but what I understand is that Uncle has another child. Is that good news now? Oh, you should <laughs> shut up, imbecile. What is wrong with you? You are about to be denied your birthright and you're here jumping up and down. How will you get out of my sight? So that is why the owner would travel. <laughs> <laughs> so Ono we left this kingdom and returned with a harlot and a bastard. The next few days is going to be very interesting. How do you mean? Do you think the queen, you and I know, we just sit and fold our arms and watch another woman coming with a grown-up son? That is their own personal problem. As for me, I'm only concerned on getting what is rightfully mine. Nze, calm down. After all, the king has not told the castle of chiefs yet. Until he does so, it is regarded as rumor. After all, our law says whoever wants to inherit the throne must be a direct descendant of Azibo kingdom. Have you forgotten? Wait. <laughs> ah, do you have not really thought towards that direction? Okay. And I've been here worrying myself oh. over nothing. <laughs> Greetings, my elders. You're welcome. Igwe Izumezu requests your presence in the palace. It's all right, tell you we'll be there. Huh? No problem. Afuku, Afu, sister. Exactly. What's this? Uh, my chips. I am sorry that um, you were not allowed to see me since the untimely death of my son, Uchenna. I was in great pain, 
and my family considered my health and ensured that uh, I did not engage on my royal duties in a working state, as it were. All the same, I say sorry about that. Your Majesty, it is a very painful experience for a parent to lose a child. We are meant to be laid to rest by our children and not to bury them. The gods of our land and our ancestors will not allow such tragedy to happen again. A funeral arrangement for my son, Uchenna, will soon be announced. Uh, my chiefs, the reason I asked that I want to see you today is because of our recent development. Many years ago, when I finished my university education, I met a young lady and we fell in love. Soon after that, we were engaged during my youth service. I quickly ran down home to let my father know about it. But he was angry and threatened to disown me. The heir to the throne of Azibo must not marry from outside the kingdom. So I abandoned her. Ichi Naka here is a witness to this. Uncle, why are you telling us this story? She has a son, my son. Yes, but I didn't know you are union with the woman produce a child. I didn't know either until a few days ago. Your Majesty, please do permit my ignorance. How sure are you that the boy in question is your son? Our prince dies. All of a sudden, a woman came on the scene with a baby claiming she had him for you. You gladly accepted. If you ask me, Your Majesty, your action is very suspicious. Exactly. She did not come to me. I found her. Oh, no, please. He will. has returned to us. Mm. Hey! Eh? Now! Hey! Now welcome. Eh? Azibo welcomes you. No. I hope you are not as strong-headed as your grandfather. Not at all, sir. He was my very good friend. Hey! Welcome. Hey! Igwe Umuokavo has returned to us. Hey! Eh? Now, 
as if Boni in a welcome you. Oh! <laughs> no, no, you are welcome. Hey! Nah. Oh. See, carbon copy of your father. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Watch this movement. I'm watching one day. He's up to something. I'm watching one day. Watch this movement. I'm watch one day. He's up to something. I'm watching one day. So you had a half brother all this while, and you never told me about him. Yes, it's true. I didn't know. Uh, father just told us about him a few days ago. My father did not even know. Oh no, we brought them in this morning. But oh, that's strange. My sister is a very long story, and a big shock, especially to my mother. Talking about your mother. How did she take the news? Not very well, I guess. What you expect? Have you met him? Not yet. I don't even know what I'm going to do when I meet him. I don't know. But at some point, you will still have to talk to him. He's your brother. Our brother. Problem. If you're not obvious, I don't want to talk to you. You coward. What did you expect me to do? Say something. Say something in my defense. But you sat there and was nothing like a he goat. What would I have said when Una Yunaka has already welcomed the young man? Unaka is an old fool. Age has turned him into a vegetable. But I did not expect such from you. What am I even doing? Wasting my time with you. Get out of my compound. I should get out of I your said, compound. I said, get out of my compound. Or do you want me to push you? Mua, get out of your compound. Say Come up, oh. No problem. Not to give. No problem. Give Bwadaya, give Bwadaya, give Bwadaya, give Bwadaya, give Bwadaya, give Bwadaya, Emeka, I am so sorry that I was not part of your early life. It was not my plan to leave your mother, but there were some circumstances beyond my control. Nevertheless, uh, you and I have a lot to talk about. But I would like to talk with your mother alone. Oh, my precious daughter. Father, you sent for me. Yes. Um, uh, this is my precious daughter, Princess Chedema. Ma. This is your brother, Prince Emeka, and his mother, Ebire. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Ma. Um, please, show him around and get acquainted. I would like to speak with his mother alone. Okay, sir. Come with me. Finally, we have some privacy. If I had known that you were pregnant for me, I would, would have... Would it have made any difference? Yes. My father wouldn't have insisted. What if he did? Anyway, that's all in the past now. We came here because we were told that you were seriously ill. I was. But when Unowu told me that we have a son together, I have a new life. 
running into my... Uh, I shouldn't have left you. I was young and stupid. Uh, how can I ever make it up to you for all these years that I, I was absent in your life? I can only feel the pain that you went through without me. If I burn a sicky cutter, go get bullet. Upon your mamma, kitter, Nebuya can run no Maraba, the Jerry Simagua, a Chuaja Mancha. Osako salio gumagana, oga chukwano wo, kibo sako sa. Kimanga imo kwano mkoso wo wo neno wa. Wo wo wo, ama wa sari, bachalo kwanyagi neno wa dobu wo. I know you're not happy with me. We've been married for over two decades now. I loved you from the beginning, and I still love you. Ebire and her son's arrival does not stop my love for you. You've been there for me through pains and gains. You're my strength. I just need you more than ever. Please, be a good host to Ebire. You expect me to babysit She's not my mistress. We've not seen or talked to each other for over 30 years now. Really? I, I do not want my house to be divided. And I don't want to do that without your help. You're my wife, my queen, my love. Ebrea will just be here for a few days. Please be a good host to her. Then why are you talking about your house being divided when she's just going to be here for a few days? I'm sorry about the death of your son. Thank you. You have a beautiful woman. Thank you. Jerry <laughs> Yeah. 
Yes. I, I did not really come here for all this. You know, I grew up not knowing who my father was. No brother, no sister. No other family member besides my mom. I, I am very sorry for the death of your brother, Prince Uchenna. And I am not even here to replace him. I, I just want to bond with my long lost family. on my way to your house. I hope all is well. Ichi, all is not well. All is not well because the titled men in this kingdom have decided to keep quiet in the face of wrongdoings. I don't understand you. <laughs> Igwe Izumezu brought a boy from nowhere and all of you quickly accepted him as the son of the soil. Why? Did you not see that young man's resemblance to your late grandfather, Igwe Mokafo? If Nain Naka, who was your know who to your late grandfather, accepts the young man, then who am I to say anything? So, Nain Naka is now the mouthpiece of the gods. Nain Naka is the oldest titled man in this kingdom. And he is well respected by all. Ichi, so what you are trying to tell me now is that if Nine Naka is falling into the fire, you all will gladly fall into the fire with him. Ichi, Badukwanya, Badukwanya. I began to pity her. Yes. Even the look she gave the woman is something. See, the queen's eyes is breathing fire. I can't even stand it. If she look at me like that, I'll just disappear. Piam! Wait, though. It seems we are getting set for a real rumble. Are you ready for that? No! I am not ready for anything. I am very happy the way you quickly accepted and welcomed the boy, even though you were not aware of his existence. <laughs> hey, my joy knew no bounds when the Igwe presented him to us. Hmm. I'm heartbroken when Prince Uchana died. The gods have put smiles back on our faces. I am now happy. <laughs> so, what is next? I don't understand you. I mean, our Igwe rejected his mother because she is not from within. You know, our tradition demands that uh, our Igwe marries from within. Now that the mother is not from within, it is regarded that uh, any product from that relationship is regarded as taboo. Emeka eventually is taboo and cannot be presented to us as king. Is that not so?
Hello, sir. Yeah, hello, what is it? You said I should call you if I have any information. Yes. Um, I have I have valuable information. Then speak and don't waste my time. Okay, I'm I'm sorry, sir. Um I've tried to see you on several occasions, but I was told you were not ready to receive visitors. I am so sorry for your loss. You know, Uchenna was a good boy, and I don't have any doubt in my mind that he would have made a good king. Thank you. The good Lord gives, and the good Lord takes. <laughs> There's nothing anyone can do about it. Um, how are we sure it was the Lord that took him? How do you mean? Don't you think this is too much of a coincidence? Uchenna dies in, a, in an accident and then this woman just appeared from nowhere with a boy laying claims on something that you have suffered so hard to build with my uncle. I know my uncle might be blinded by the love he had for her, but people are asking questions. Wait, are you insinuating that the accident... <laughs> that the accident wasn't an accident? Um, ne. That is not what I am saying. What I am saying is that you need to be vigilant. You need to be vigilant before something you've labored for becomes another person's own. Nega <sighs> Badanya. Hello, love. I am so sorry I haven't called you in a while. Apology accepted. I didn't want to bother you. Come on. I miss you. And I miss you more. Um, how are your parents? Well, they are fine. Mom is fine and dad as well. All of them are good. Um, when are you coming back? I'm not um, really sure for now. Hold on, babe. Okay. Come in. Good evening, my friends. His Majesty wants you to join him at the dining. Okay, tell him I'll be there in a jiffy. Okay, sir. Thank you. Hey, babe. Who was that? <laughs> One of the many servants here. Um, she said um, my father wants me at the dinner table. Okay, so you now have servants at your beck and call. <laughs> of course, why not? Am I not the king's son? Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you later, okay? I love you. Alright, love you. Bye. Bye. Ichi e ebele, my good friend. Ha, Ichi e na tonu me ton. Ichi e mas ni wongwa na de runo. Biko, Biko, Biko. Biko. Hmm? Dajo. Dajo. Oh. <laughs> Ichi Abele. Ichi, how are you? I'm fine. What do you want? Ichi, I am really sorry about my actions towards you the other day. I am sorry. Oh, Biko, Dajo. I, I, I just felt like that because I was angry. Pico, I am deeply sorry. It's okay, I have forgiven you. Just that 
You should learn to control your anger. It's not good. Ah, Bichi, I promise you it will never happen again. Oh, Biko. Bichi, it's your not your in Urugan. How is your family? We are fine. Um, okay. Bichi, please, uh, there is something very important that I need us to discuss. It's okay, let's go. Okay. Bichi, Abele. Bichi, Abele, my very good friend. <laughs> It's fine. It's Watch this Greetings. Greetings. You are Emeka, right? The Igwe's son. Yes, my name is Emeka. It's good to finally meet you. I am Choma, your cousin. Really? Yes. My cousin? Yes. And my brother is Inze Chikwado, the Igwe's nephew. Oh. Uh, um, it's nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you too. Same here. Are you going out? Uh, not really. I just want to take a walk around the village. Hmm. Okay. So you trust me if I tell you that I'll be your perfect guide? Yes, because I know the newt and crown is of this kingdom. <laughs> that would be nice, but I thought you were going somewhere. No, no. I actually came to see you. Wow. So if you don't mind, can we go? <laughs> All right, sure. Well, first and first, I want to know everything about you. Let us start from there. From there. <laughs> All right, sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, my name is Emeka. Okay. And, okay. Can you go? Go first. Go first. <laughs> okay. So, my name is Emeka, and. Um, Hi, Mom. <sighs> no way. I tried calling your number, but it wasn't connecting. Oh, really? I think it's the network. Mom, I went out with my cousin. And she's very, very interesting, Mom. She seems to be the only one who is genuinely happy to see me here. Of course, except that. Who is she? Mm. Her name is Choma. Ah, that was Dad's only brother. Make sure you don't leave the palace without telling me. Exactly. Oh, Jesus! What is this? Your Majesty, I swear, I didn't put it there. Then who did? I don't know your majesty. I just cleaned the room and locked it. You know I can't do such a thing. How would I? You are the only person that has access to that room. So you're trying to tell me that that thing mysteriously entered that room? Yes, your majesty. 
Oh, you know, I, I couldn't do such a thing. I would not, Your Majesty. I didn't put it there. Your Majesty, may I speak? You have my permission. She's been with us for three years now, and I can assure you she's a very good Christian. She never misses money masses. Are you sick in the head? I've seen people who go to churches, yet they know all the shrines and engage in fetish things. Do not provoke me further. I will get to the root of this. Um, Abby, please. I will make arrangements for another room which you will sleep in. No, no, I'm okay. I'll, I'll sleep in my son's room. <clears throat> Watch this movement. Akwajo one day is up to something. Akwasurumbo boa. I didn't want to ask you this before everyone. Did you put that thing in her room? What? Do you have a hand in what just happened? Answer me! I can't believe this. After all these years, you still don't know what I'm capable of. This is not the answer to my question. It's obvious you already believe I did it. That's why you're asking this question. But you know what? I am not going to dignify your stupid question with an answer. Oh, you want to hit me? Go ahead. Hit me. You are always pressing your phone. Not always, mom. <laughs> Who is that? It's your father. Oh. Oh. The door is open. Uh, please, I would like to speak with your mother alone. I'm sorry. Please. I do not want you to go. I do not want you to leave. I have brought back your son. What more do you want from me? I want you to stay. This few past moments that we spent together have brought back sweet memories. I feel happier and younger now. Emeka, you are married now. I do not want to be that woman who scattered somebody's family, no. You're part of my family. <sighs> I should never have left you. Marry me. What? Baby Ray, Ella wouldn't me. Will you marry me? You are a married man. And remember your family forbids you from marrying someone outside the whole kingdom. I'm not just a king. I'm an authority. I can just marry more than one wife. Here. Yeah. Your Majesty, I don't know what to say. Exactly my situation last night. I was dumbfounded. Uh, but the maid has nothing to gain by putting a charm in a BRS room. That's correct. She has nothing to gain. Unless she was paid to do it. 
For no, she swore before the parish priest this morning that she has nothing to do with it. A father volunteered to go to anywhere I want to to prove her innocence. Hmm. Well, um, the important thing is that the parish priest has removed the charm and has destroyed it. Well, yes, but um, we need to know who put it there and why. That is true. That is true. I just asked him to tag along uh, so I don't miss my way, but luckily I did not. Yara, don't lie to me. Ask him now. Tell me the truth. Ask him. <laughs> um, Yara, you can go now. <laughs> if only the gods will open your eyes, then you will know how happy I am to see you here. <laughs> hey, mother, did you see my brother? He just left. Oh. You missed him. Really? Yes. Maybe he'll be back before I leave. I hope so. Come, brother. Come and sit down. We really need to get to a chair. No, no, come. Let's go up. Thank you for the fun. I like it. I do. So, how about your parents? My parents died a long time ago. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's been long now, so it's okay. I know how difficult it is growing up without your parents. It's a very big, difficult void to feel. Once again, you're correct. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have been in the village? No. You know when our parents died, we were made to go stay with various relatives. I was taken to Ibadan to stay with my auntie. It was the worst period of my life. I'm so sorry. You are nice and kind. Thank you. It's fine. I just saw the prince. He was here. Which prince? Prince Emeka said he was here. What did he come here to do? He came to see me now. Now you listen. I don't want to see that boy in this compound again. I don't appreciate you bringing in stray dogs into my compound. Brother Prince Emeka is not a stray dog. He is your cousin and the crown prince of our kingdom. Good day, Dad. Sir, how are you doing today? I'm fine, sir. Um, Dad, I I wanted to inform you that um, we'll be going back to Asaba tomorrow. Why? Is it because of that incident? No, not at all. I 
took excuse from my workplace and I'm supposed to resume tomorrow or I'd lose the job. My son doesn't need to work for nobody when his father has two companies with a staff strength of over 150 people. Uh, making you the manager of Magnum Industries. What? Really? You will start work on Monday. You're my son. You need to know how the business is being run. Uh, Father, I... I don't know what to say, but... Don't you think it's too sudden for me to resume such a huge responsibility? Oh, come on. That's nonsense. It's my company. You're my son. You must look after my interest. I, I really don't know what to say. Then say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. It's not possible. Really? Is that what you think? There is no way my husband would take such a decision without letting me know. Oh God. No. Ask him. Ask him if you think I am lying. Just in one week, in one week, her son has been made the general manager of the company. Think about what will happen by the time they spend up to one month. Everything will be assigned to her and you'll be left empty-handed. I think this is the right time for you to act. Act now that you still have time. Why can't you sleep? Why can't you rest? You walk through and flow every day. So I told you that... I wish. Just be alone. Excuse us for a moment. What is it, my dear? What did you just call me? You dear, <laughs> what a joke. Is it true? What? Is it true you made her son the manager of Magnum Enterprises? Is my son. It is our company. You and I's company. You had no right to do that without informing me. And you know the most painful thing about it all? My son isn't buried yet. And you have the audacity to make your son, her son, the manager of our company. Well, I see where you're coming from. But I want also to direct your mind that someone has to assume the responsibility of running the company. Would you write? I give such opportunity to an outsider when we have a son. <laughs> we have a son? Or you both have a son? <laughs> oh my God. Now it's all clear. I understand perfectly now why your father never wanted you to marry her. She's manipulative. And you? You're a big fool. Excuse me. You slapped me. You slapped me because of that. Well, I'm sorry about that. So sorry about it. Okay, I'm so sorry.
Yes, um, the car just wouldn't start. I don't know. Since you haven't been to the car. Yes, yes. It, it just wouldn't start. And I'm already late to where I'm going to. You can use this other car. Yes. Then please. later I'll get someone to check your car. Thank you so much. No. Yes, I'll just use the other car. No, you can try this one. It might still work. It's not working. No, let me get it. Thank you so much. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll use this car then. I'm late. I can't wait. Try and start speaking. It's not working. I, I tried it, it's not working. Jo okay, just take the key and do it. I'll just go and get the other key. I'm 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 in a hurry, please. Yes. Has he left the palace? Yeah, he did, but he didn't use his car. He's refused to start. So what do we do now, sir? Um, you know what? I, I, I'll call you back. Okay. Okay, sir. And who are you talking to on the phone? Nobody. Nobody? But you were here answering sir, sir, sir. Don't you mind your business? Don't you have something? Don't you have a car to wash or something? How dare you question me? You know I'm glad you're getting along well with Emeka. I'm so happy. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> you know he's reliable, funny and intelligent. Yes. Just that my mother and his they don't get along. You know, sometimes they try to hide it when we're there. But we know. <laughs> Chief, I have a feeling that one day. We will have a royal rumble in the south, and my father will be the referee. <laughs> Stop laughing, I'm serious. Stop laughing, I'm serious. Stop Madam, I don't finish. Okay. You get luck, say you know, Kaida Kamaka Komoto. If not, Boza and Asas and that thing will take up. What do you mean by that? Madam, break no de Daka. But I don't fix them. You get locked, say their car no grease starts. If not, I understand for the talk now. But everything is fine now. I fix it. My money is at ten thousand five hundred. Um, thank you very much. Please wait for me by the car. I'll get your money. It's okay, ma. Is it a Mecca's car he was talking about? Yeah. Chief. I have a feeling that Uchina's death was not an accident. It was not just... There is a serious problem. No one is willing to start with us. All the young men I have spoken to are afraid of the consequences of having to go against uh, Ichi Unaka. Ichi Unaka is just a confused old man who cannot do anything. He is the custodian of, of our Na, the staff of our ancestors. That is why everyone is afraid to challenge whatever he says. Then we pay him a visit. Watch this movement. Akwajo one day is up to something. Akwasura more boy. Zechikwado, you amazed me. Instead of you to rejoice, 
that the gods has wiped away tears from our eyes by bringing a maker to us. You are bringing unnecessary dust. It is not unnecessary. We have a tradition that says that the king must be of pure blood. That boy is not a pure blood. But he is not king yet. He will be if nothing is done about it. We have a tradition and it must be followed. You speak as if you know who dead will visit next. Our king is alive and well. If I did not know better, I would say you wish your uncle dead. Chiguado, desist from the wrong path. Or the consequences will be disastrous. Your mother told me that you are engaged. That's true, father. How serious is that? Father, I... I would not be engaged if I didn't love her that much. So, the throne of Azimu is your birthright. As you are my only surviving son. But there are people from this kingdom who are seriously kicking against the whole process because their mother is not from here. So if you marry an outsider, it will only help to worsen the whole situation. There are maidens that are beautiful and well nurtured from this land that you can choose. I can even help you do that. Father. All my life I have longed to have my complete family. And now I have it. I, I just came here to reunite with my long lost family and not to be king. I, I would not want to live the life of regret like you did. Forgive me, but I'm already contented with what I have. <laughs> well, there's nothing to forgive, my son. I'm proud of your decision. <laughs> I am so happy mm. that you have finally located your family. Yes. A royal one at that. <laughs> and um, sir, my father wants to see Sonia. So, I want to ask for your permission to take her. I heard you are you. You have my permission. In fact, you have my blessing. Anytime you want to take her, she can stay as long as she wants. Eh? And, and moreover, Whenever your people are ready for the introduction, we are also ready. Thank you, my Hi. Prince Emily. <laughs> All right, Mom, Dad, I would love to see him out. Okay, let's see him off together. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye bye. Eh? Prince Emily. Hey, Prince Emily. What's the meaning of this? Meaning of what? Would you have some self-respect? What respect are you talking about? Hey, you should have asked him to come and take your daughter for free. Yes, and not to pay the bride price. Uh, or you, maybe you wipe his shoes. I am trying to make amends. Make amends of what? And you're talking nonsense. Oh, I'm talking nonsense. I said, respect your age. Respect yourself. He's a prince. Wait, 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 and then? He's a prince, yes, and then? What happened?
You should have sent for me if you wanted to see me. Give respect to whom respect is due. That is the wise saying of our ancestors. How is it from If a child is successful in his endeavors, his father must have taught him a lot. Correct. Um, Nani, you were my father's, oh no. And the oldest titled man in this kingdom, the custodian and the staff of our ancestors, yes. it is wise for me to seek for your counsel when my heart is troubled. Your Majesty, I am at your service. Thank you. Naya. The gods, in their own magnanimity, have brought a son I did not know about. And I want to correct the mistake of my past. I marry a bearer, but that will be after the burial of my son that has already been fixed for the end of next month. Yes. I want to know, does the law stop me? from taking her as my second wife. Your Majesty, there is no law that stops you. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, uh, 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 has a girl from Amechi that he wished to marry. And I have already given my blessings. What is the implication of my decision as regard his connection to the throne of our forefathers? Why did my uncle come to see you? <laughs> when did it become a crime for the king to, to see me? It becomes a crime when there is a conspiracy to put a bastard on the throne. Is that Be careful! 
I said be careful. I would not be silent and watch you people turn our tradition upside down. Well, if you wish to know what the king and I discuss, come to the palace tomorrow with the elders and all the village heads. I will be there to address you all. No, 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 don't, 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 easy, 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 don't worry, it will soon be over, easy, 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 okay, Fine, thank you. Where are you off to? I want to buy something outside. You care to tag along? Yes, 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 Let's go. yes. Open the gate, I want to drive out. <laughs> <laughs> sort of thing has never happened in this kingdom. It has happened. And to my son. I have ordered my men to increase their patrol of all the neighborhoods. The commissioner of police has also assured me of sending some policemen into the kingdom to help Kump. Okaka, make sure that these culprits are found. Yes, Your Majesty. Emeka, I will provide some security to move about with. I think we should go back to our server. Hmm? Mm. Uh, no, but this palace is the safest place for our prince. How long is he going to stay inside? I'm scared. We were fine before we got here. Evie, please. I will make sure that the corporate is found. I will leave no stone unturned. Please, just bear with me. What is your problem? Simple task I gave to you, you just messed everything up. Wait, I... let me call you back. I've been calling you since. You've not been picking. I've been calling you since. You didn't reply. I had to come and see you now. Okay. Now, now you've seen me. So what can I do for you? That guy. That guy that you put for this job. The guy messed up. He messed up badly. And that palace is hot right now. So, I need to leave this kingdom. So, why are you telling me? I need money now. 
I don't understand. <laughs> Am I a bank? Have I not been paying you for your services? That one is not enough now. Uh -uh. I need a reasonable amount to leave this, this kingdom right now. But if you want to play it like that, if the king finds out that I'm the one that not only sabotaged Prisotina's car, but also planted the charm in Ebere's room, I will just tell him that it is you that is responsible for everything. Oh, I see. Um, Namdi, are you blackmailing me? So this, is not, this is not blackmail. It's not even personal. It's not personal. So, how much are we talking about? Like 500,000. 500,000. All right, no problems. You know, there is no need for this uh, argument. Hmm? You've actually been very resourceful. Um, sorry it has come to this. I will get the money ready. Then I'll call you in the evening. Is it, remember, it's nothing personal. I don't need to leave. I know, I know, I know. Mm -hmm. And at least when you leave, it's even better. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm? Don't worry, I will, I'll see you in the evening. Just in your best interest, I'm not caught. I know. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. no. Make sure you get it for payment. Shut. Abby, please do not leave. I, I promised you that I will get to the root of this. Why are you leaving now? It's, it's, it's too soon. So soon to leave when, when I'm still. Mze. What is going on here? Don't tell me you people are leaving it. Mze, please help me beg her not to leave. Father, you have to understand us. If you were in our shoes, you would do the same. Please, mm, we have to go. You have to understand my predicament too. This whole thing is not the way I expected it. <laughs> this is the man that tried to kill me. What have I done? What have I done? Why would you want to kill my son? Pa, talk now! Mze, Mze, you don't pay me! Look at, me look at this idiot! I don't know this young man from anywhere. In fact, I've never met him in my entire life! Mze, I will not die alone. You paid me to keep this gender. Hey! I can't believe you people are listening to this kid. Who paid you to me? Who paid you? Come on, come on, come on! Where is Namdi? Where is Namdi? He's not in the palace, Your Highness. He stepped out. Namdi led me to the palace. I sabotaged for his future Naska. I told him to please him Naska, but he didn't use it. Don't believe this young man. This young man is lying. He has called me three times today. You can check my phone. Check his phone. Go through that phone. What have I done to you? Why did you kill my son? My father was supposed to be king. But he relinquished it to you, his younger brother. Now I want what rightfully belongs to me. You we get it. Hand them over to the police. 